to um, renew my visa on Monday, but I don't know what to do with Maya. Maya! Maya, do you want something to eat? Wie was von der Schalung da doch noch mal wieder gekommen? Rich, ach, ja, ich sehe, was hier auf der Antwoord geht, wie es mich schaut. It is kind of like the, the South African story that hasn't been told. We're trying to push the, the bar in terms of producing a, a drama that is current. It touches on subjects that we don't necessarily um, see, discuss. Uitstekende performances, dear a wereldclass gehalte um, cast. The emotionele deel van die story gaan aanklank vind by elke South Afrikaner wat kijk. The story for Sunk uh, came to me a couple of years ago after reading a, it's actually a Bible verse from the book of Jeremiah. And, and it says, a voice was heard in Ramah, lamentation, weeping, great mourning, Rachel weeping for her children, refusing to be comforted for they are no more. And just the poetry and the visuals of that text just really spoke to me and it conjured up this image of a mother just distraught over the body of her child. And that was definitely the inception or the seed that started this story. And over the years, um, I've done work with NGOs going into malnutrition clinics and just really experiencing and seeing what the plight of immigrants is. And it's just added layers to the story that we currently have today. What I love is that it's not about an agenda. It, does, it doesn't point fingers at people. I think there's something that every person can raise. Every person can with characters can feel and feel like they can The characters are full around. People are very loved by characters. You will know what happens with the characters. And it fills you up on a fantastic tour. Sync is quite a contained film. There are only three leads, and what I love about it is it enabled me to spend a lot of time with the actors, uh, Anel, Shoki, Jacques, and really craft performances that we feel don't just paint one flat color, but show a journey of the, the characters from beginning to end. This is the first time I saw with Shoki work, and she had me weggeblaas. She had me weggeblaas as a man and as an actress. It was unbelievably inspiring for me to see what the dedication she had in role and packed it with what she. Harde werk en dedication en skill level zij die die accent wat zij moest aanleren en ja dat was dat was wel een heerlijke ervaring geweest om om samen dat te werken want dus dus verschrikkelijke zwaar subject matter. I felt quite privileged to be working with her and to be sharing those moments with her because she really gets her emotions from another dimension. It really is it's truthful and deeply hurtful. To, to watch you know, the work that she did. What's so special for me is that Shoki was actually in the first film that I did at film school. And I just love the, the poetry of the fact that she is now in my first feature. Jock was wonderful. I is small with Jock. Jock is one of those kostbare, kostbare mensen. Ik denk hij is verzekerd een van die beste acteurs in zijn generatie. En ik hoop dat Sink kan bieden van mensen wijs wat hij in hem heeft en wat hij kan bieden. He's such a talented actor and um, I'm really feeling privileged to, to be able to work with him with this film. Working with Anel Alexander, um, who plays Michelle, my wife, um, I've known her for some time and we've never had an opportunity to, to work together and we've always wanted to. And when she came along with this project, I was really, really excited and I'm very happy it worked out that I could do it. She's juggling like so many things at once. I'm like really... Um, um, I'm, at, I'm in awe in what she, of what she does because I could never do that. I don't know how, I don't know how you do it to have like so many different hats. Um, where I'm more of a body actor and Nala is more of a mind actor, and I quite like that combination. Um, and it seemed that we we find a nice um, equilibrium in, within that. Yeah, I've shared some amazing moments with her when I think, gosh, <laughs> I hope she realizes just how brilliant she is. And and I mean, I think that this kind of forced all of us in a way to sort of like reach beyond, you know, what we thought we could do. I think om met zeker professionele acteurs zoals Jack en Shoki tien weer te help natuurlijk verschrikkelijk bij ja. En dan om ze een fantastische crew gehad wat raar voor onze spasie op stijl geskip het om om te kan focus, om te kan naar die uh, vulnerable plekken toe te gaan. Rachel, I know this is a conversation that we've all been avoiding, but it's one that we need to have. To see you cleaning up after them makes me sick. If I leave, I lose my income, my home, my visa. Konosuleva.
We're dealing with two women who've, who are dealing with, with a tragedy um, and are kind of forced to coexist in the same space, in the same house, um, and try and get on with their lives as best they can. Um, so what we try to deal with compositionally was quite a lot of negative space, characters alone in big spaces, um, a relatively high contrast, characters often existing in silhouette, um, and often appearing relatively small in the frame and in the architecture that, that we were dealing with. So, so we were trying to isolate them. I mean, Trevor's lighting was incredible, which also enhanced um, enhanced the world, you know. But it was it was quite phenomenal creating um, sync with Brett having such a specific um, such a specific vision. I mean, in his director's treatment, what sold me right from the word go is his reference of art, um, because that's my point of reference. I mean, Vermeer was a big one, and I was like, okay, you've got me. Because a lot of the movie happens in Terrier and Michelle's world, which is in the house, um, so is Rachel's really, I mean, they're living on top of each other. It, it becomes quite claustrophobic for them, but also feeling like that they're trapped. So there was a lot of imagery of stripes. Brett is a very intelligent human being, and therefore it translates in his work. He's an intelligent writer. He wrote an incredible script uh, where he was the actor, you literally, it almost feels like you don't have to do anything. He's done all your work for you. He's a meticulous uh, director. He knows exactly what moments he wants, where to place certain emotions. He loves subtlety. Um, he loves working with uh, very, very small emotions. And that's quite challenging. Brett's done a lot of work with, um, with his referencing and with, um, with what he wants to achieve. So we've had quite a, quite a specific look. Ek en Brett en Johan is al drie verschrikkelijk perfectionistisch. So, dat was rarig een lekker werksverhouding, omdat ons allemaal diezelfde type werks ethiek het. It's hopefully giving a voice to a group of people who could possibly have not had a voice. Ons raak aan, aan onderwerpen wat rarig deel met, met vergifnis en met, um, jy hoor met skuld te deel. It is a story of just how you deal with tragedy when there's nothing to play. We didn't try to demonize one side um, in favor of another, but to rather look at how three lives are dramatically impacted by one tragic accident. And at the end of the day, I feel like we're all human and human things happen to us. And I feel like if we can all just kind of bear witness to each other's um, sorrows or tragedies or lives, um, I think it would go a long, long way. 